The Senate, in a twist of event at plenary on Tuesday, altered the balance of its majority and minority status as 15 members of the Reading of Progressive Congress defect to the opposition PDP. The defection follows the announcement by the President of the Senate, Bukola Saraki, to whom the senators addressed their letter for its announcement on the floor at plenary. A correspondent of Saiti Osadeba reports. The table has turned in favor of the opposition People's Democratic Party in the Senate as the defection of not less than 15 senators at Tuesday plenary makes the opposition party the majority political party with representation in the upper chamber of the National Assembly. The tallied result shows the People's Democratic Party having 58 senators as against 48 by the members senators of the All Progressive Congress which is to hold the faces in the Senate. After due consultation that we, the undersigned, Senator Dine Milai Kogiwes, Senator Bernadi Gebas Ganadi Benue State, Senator Ibrahim Dembaba Sokto State, Senator Shaba Lafa Jikwara North, Senator Mohamed Shitu Jigawa, Senator Rafi Ibrahim Kwara South, Senator Unkui Kaduna North, Senator Elisa Haman Bauchi Central, Senator Mosura Sumoni Oyo Central, Senator Shoji Akombi Oyo, Oyo South, Senator Usman Bayo Nafada Gumbe North, Senator Musa Kwankosu Kano Central, Senator Nazif Bauchi North, Senator Alain Wadi Tejoshu Ogun Central, hereby informed that we don't sign a change in our political affiliation from the All Progressive Congress to the People's Democratic Party. We thank you for your exemplary leadership, as always, yours sincerely. As the Senate President announced the decision of some senators to defect the unseated House leader, Ahmed Lawal, made a last ditch move to salvage the situation. The deflated UB North Senator, while addressing his colleagues, has lost all the usual confidence of an intellectual making contribution to the Senate. That announcement be quarantined and contained that announcement be contained and give us and the leaders of this party the opportunity to exhaust all the avenues, all the avenues to address the issues. His plea did not come without reactions from the anxious senators seeking to exit his party. It also falls on deaf ears as it did not suffice when the Senate President explains why the Deputy Senate President is absent from the chamber. These kind of actions does not allow for what you are saying. You are speaking as a, as a leader of the, of the Senate who has been here for many years. And as such, and as such, but how the son of the DSPs are talking to him now, he can't come out of his house. In siege. So these are the challenges. But it appears, even as I'm speaking to you now, I think I read you 14 names. I just have to add one more sentence. Yako just added his name to the list. Okay. This defection will indeed reduce the influence of the All Progressive Congress in the Senate and may pose serious problem to the executive in the face of recent hostilities as the 2019 elections draws near. This loss to the APC is indeed a great gain on the opposition People's Democratic Party. Osaiti Osadebame, Core TV News, Abuja.